Hello and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to look at the concept of cell referencing in Microsoft Excel. So in initial videos we learned about type of data, the form of data, how to format it and also cell address. So today we are going to understand about what the cell referencing is. So Excel understands two kind of referencing. One is relative referencing and another is absolute referencing. So we will understand both one by one. First, we'll go with the relative referencing. So suppose if I want to sum these sales values, what I will do is I will just like we learned in the first lecture, we will sum this B5 plus C5 plus D5. Okay, now we got the sum. What if I want to sum here also? These cells are B6, C6 and D6. Unlike here we sum for B5, C5, D5, here are B6, C6 and D6. So if I copy this formula down, let's see what happens. If you click on here, B6, C6, D6 appearing. So you see what is happening here, B5 is there, yes, B6 is there. And same if we copy for other cells, in this case it has taken relative reference of the first cell from where we are copying the formula. With respect to that it has taken relative reference. Now we will understand about absolute referencing. So uh, what if I want to understand like Sam has made some cells 8076. How much is the percentage with respect to the total cells? So let's do simple division plus E5 divided by E10. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th. This is the fifth cell from our E5. So I'll hit the enter. There you go, we have and we'll convert it into percentage. So Sam has made 16.94 percent of the cell of the total cells. Now what we'll do, we'll do this for each and every cell. We'll just drag it as we did for summation. Oops. What has happened? The error has come. Now the error is division by zero. In mathematics, we know nothing can be divided by zero. So, but what is the reason that it has come? Let's let's try to look at it. So here what we said E5 divided by E10. So E10 is the fifth cell from E5. Here E6 divided by E11. So where is E11? So this is E11. E11 has E11 is having nothing. Here E12, E13, E14. So what has happened? It has taken relative reference with respect to the first cell, which we don't want. So in that case, what we will do, we want this cell as fix. How can we fix this? We'll just put dollar sign in front of column and in front of row. That's it. That is the thing we have to do. Now we will drag it. There you go. Answer is there. So what we have done is in each cell, if you see E5, E6, E7, these values are changing because those are relative and E10 is constant in all the cells as we have made it absolute. So as I have put dollar symbol in front of column and this row, there is one shortcut to put these dollar symbols in your Excel. Suppose I have to make this again absolute. So what I'll do, I will just hit F4 on keyboard. There you go. It has become absolute again. So try this out on your own. See if you are able to identify relative and absolute referencing in your data and do practice.